Hey, welcome to another episode of Beers, Jack and Barbecue. So today's cook is going to be a rack of pork. I know we have a one up there we did for a Christmas episode already. And depending on when this one comes out, we actually shot another one on the Weber at one point. Been wanting to do rotisserie again. Thought, what a great way to try a rack of pork and we'll do it rotisserie style. So uh, got the spit or the, the rod in. I got the grill set up for the rotisserie. It's running about 350 degrees right now. Um, probably going to climb towards 400. Once I put it on, I'm going to close the vents because the one thing with the rotisserie, you get a little bit of air around the sides of the rotisserie a little bit to help kind of stoke the fire a little bit. So I'm going to choke everything back and just kind of let it maybe just naturally drop just a little bit, maybe towards 350 until it's done cooking. So uh, I'm going to put a, the meter in, which is the probe, the wireless probe, so we can kind of take a temperature the whole time while it's cooking. Um, and like I said, finish the coating it using the uh, pork barrel barbecue seasoning. Something I always use in my pork from Costco. I did the other side already. Just going to finish up here. And this thing's going to sit for a few minutes while we uh, move all the lights and camera gear out, which will be just enough time to, to let this kind of soak, soak in for a little bit. And then we will uh, see you on the grill. Enjoy the uh, introduction and we'll see you out there. All right, so we're gonna throw it on here. I did come out and test to make sure I had it centered real nice. I think I do. Turn it on here. All right, we're gonna check it out. You can see the uh, meter over here on the side. It's gonna give us our um, Grill temperature and it's going to give us our internal temperature. Shooting for 145. Probably when it's towards 100, we're going to check it out. I'm going to close it down before any flames start up too much here. All right, so I said we'd check it out. We hit 100 and uh, we came out when it was right close to 100. And now it's reading. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I'll kind of show you the, the phone. I don't know if that's going to pick up right, but inside temperature was running about 380, which was nice. Boy, this thing's looking beautiful. So like I said, we're going to probably pull it around 140, 141, but right now we're, like I said, 103, a little bit longer, and we'll be bringing this baby off, but I'm looking forward to that one. All right, so it just hit 143. I want to let it go just another couple of minutes because I wanted the 143 to happen. It was on the thicker end, and uh, let's see what it looks like. Get away from the smoke a little bit. Wow, does that look nice? Let me turn the uh, rotisserie off. We're going to take that inside. I'm going to cover it for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll cut into it and show you what it looks like. As always, cheers. Spruce lager. Wasn't sure when I saw that title, but it's actually a very good tasting beer. All right, so here it is rack of pork, done rotisserie on the Kimono Joe Big Joe. Um, didn't know what to expect because usually when I cook these, it's always indirect cooking and I do it at 400 degrees and turn it back towards, let it, the grill come down at 300 degrees until it gets to 140 some degrees until I pull it off. This one here, because of being over an open flame, wasn't sure what to totally expect, but wow, did it look good and the juice is just running out of this thing and I haven't even really touched it yet. Um, let it sit for about 15 minutes until we get everything set up in here and we'll cut into one and I'll take a little bite and see what it tastes like. Wow, does that look nice and juicy? I'm going to grab a fork here. Get a little piece off the edge to try. Getting away from me a little bit. Wow, those look nice.
So the rack of pork's become one of my favorite cuts of the, of the pork chop. The only have it at Costco around the holidays. Done on the Weber, done on the Kimono Joe. Always been very nice and juicy. This one here rivals any one of them, and I may do them in the future this way, because man, the juice is coming out of them, and you have a little bit more crust, I want to say, on the outside of this thing. So I think that's going to work for our benefit to have that little bit of crust and you have that little bit of crunch when you first get into it. And the middle is totally juicy. So this turned out great. So hopefully like what you're seeing, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell, let us know what you think on things, leave comments for us. And uh, we'll see you next time.